with forward pay from Appalachian Wireless, you'll avoid contracts and credit checks while taking advantage of some awesome perks, like unlimited talk, text, and three gigs of data for just $44.99, or with five gigs for a mere $59.99. Forward pay. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. The presidential debate series between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump got ugly and uncivil, and many issues got buried beneath a mountain of political barbs. But today at Johns Creek Middle School, perhaps for the first time this year, issues in this year's election cycle were discussed in depth, minus political jousting between candidates. The minimum wage as of now is in 29 out of the 50 states, not including the District of Columbia, is $7.25 which is too little to live an average life with a family. He thinks it's unfair because I ran will get everything and lose nothing. He said every promise the Obama administration made in the beginning of negotiations has been broken. Clinton states, no, she does not think the military budget should be increased. Trump says that we would have to look very strongly at the records of the people on the no-fly list before we take the gun rights of those people. Her strategy would be to generate half of our electricity from clean sources. Get the companies back to work, market forces, that's something he doesn't want to get involved in. Two teams of 8th grade students, one representing Trump's views and the other Clinton's, took turns answering questions in front of their fellow classmates. The answer is based upon each candidate's on-record opinions. Johns Creek Social Studies teacher Claire West said today's mock presidential debate gave students the opportunity to truly understand where each candidate stands on a variety of issues. They didn't know what side they would be on until I flipped a coin last night on Facebook Live and that's when they found out what side they would be on. And just because they had to sit on that side does not mean they support that candidate, they just had to talk about the issues from that side. Um, they worked on that probably a couple weeks, and then we put this together and they spoke today. They, and, but they had to know both sides. Now I did have the ones that spoke, they did have the questions ahead of time, but that was so they could focus on what their answers would be. And now those who took part in the debate say they have a better understanding of each candidate seeking the Oval Office. I had to do a lot of research. I had to kind of see what both sides were like before I actually got a side. I used to just think what everybody else would say was the opinions, I think. But now, after I've done research, I understand uh, that not everything's as it seems. With today's successful mock debate, more like it are likely to follow. Every four years, probably. Reporting from Johns Creek for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson.